Trevor, you have signed a new deal here at Shamrock Rovers. How happy are you to have that over the line? Yeah, well, look, obviously, I'm delighted to get it done. Um, the only difference is now, this time it's on a permanent basis, um, something I've been looking forward to getting done the past while. Um, so I'm just happy to get it over the line. Um, and I'm just looking forward to the season ahead, and hopefully we can push on and win more trophies. Last season, you made 20 appearances, chipped in with five goals and three assists. You were unfortunate with injuries at times, but this year, how are you feeling? Yeah, no, look, I'm feeling good now. Um, obviously, we're just back in for pre-season. Um, hopefully, all the injuries are behind me. I thought when I was just getting in a good run of form last year, getting a couple of goals, um, the injury came at the wrong time. Um, so hopefully now, come this year, fully fit, a year where I get to play in Europe, experience Europe again, um, and just go on a run of, of not getting injured. Yeah. Um, so now I'm looking forward to getting back in with the lads. Trevor, you've become a fan favourite offering direct uh, attacking play and penetration up that left-hand side and we sorely missed that in Europe last year. How much are you looking forward to being involved in our European campaign this year? Yeah, no, look, I can't wait to get back in, uh, even the league, but Europe is a big one. Obviously, I missed out the whole of Europe last year, which was very frustrating for me personally. And um, I'm just looking to get back involved and... That's one of my main attributes of my game is directness, getting down the line, beating me man, getting balls into the box and trying to help the team out as much as I can. So hopefully I can do that now again this year. You mentioned that the deal that you've signed now is a permanent deal. How settled and how happy are you since you came back from uh, England last year? Yeah, no, look, I'm back at the club that I feel most at home at. Um, so that's a main thing and a big thing for me, coming back home again on a permanent basis. Obviously, a lot of the a lot of the group is still the same, the same coach and staff, the same manager. So it was a it was an easy decision for me really to to come back home and the club that I really like and started off when I was young. So um, that was a big decision for me coming home. The team won the four in a row last year. How much more do you think is there to come from this team? I don't really think you can put put a limit on this team. Really, I should think we showed last year. Obviously in the league, four in a row, not over just last year, but the lads have showed that over the past four years that what they can do, and I think the group is only going to get stronger. And obviously then again this year, I think we can push on for more. So I think there's no real limits what this team can do. So Last season, a historic season for the team, many memorable and standout moments for yourself. Were there any? I'm thinking specifically scoring against Bowes. I know you've been... Getting a bit of stick <laughs> during that game, and there's a there's a, a good picture there of yourself celebrating in front of them. Yeah, no, look, obviously that probably one of the one of the good moments. Uh, it was always good to score, but when you score against them and they're giving you stick, probably the whole game don't really care about it too much. But it just gives them a little bit back, and obviously we were we were training up in the game and. I think there was a stop and play. I, I can remember, like it was yesterday, there was a stop and play, and I was in front of their fans for a throw in, and they're all shouting abuse at me. And I just remember I had the ball, and I was just looking at them, and they're all wanting to wanting to jump down over the barrier. But that was obviously one of the one of the standout moments. And then uh, to go on and win the league, then it's my first league league trophy to win with the club, and it was a great moment for me, for my family and obviously for the football club so that's what I'm hoping to push on for more now again this year. The start of the league is only around the corner, you have the Leinster Senior Cup upcoming, you have the President's Cup and the start of the league against Dundalk. The new North Stand now completed so we'll be looking to have big attendances in Tala. How, how much fun was it playing in front of the Hoops Faithful last year? Tala can be rocking at times. Oh no, look, I think last year, I think the fans was one of the one of the key factors last year. I think they always came out in the numbers. Uh, home, obviously, packed out at a stadium, and then the following that they had for away days was unbelievable. So, obviously, with the new stand in there again, um, hopefully they can fill it up for next season. I think over the last couple of years, the attendance is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So, hopefully then, this year now, they can do it again.